Hello there. Here's a script I've been playing around with, and what it does, it's, I was trying to make a better wandering custom NPC. This guy is actually set on moving path, and what he does is he will set four locations here, represented by the glass blocks. Those are uh, optional, I just have those there for I can see where he's going to move and how he moves. The corners of the blocks are randomly put there. They're not more than about 20 blocks apart. They're put diagonally from its location at, uh, at a random, randomly generated. There's about six combinations of coordinates from where he is that can be uh, selected. You could make more. You could increase it a little bit. I didn't want to increase it too much uh, because the best navigation range is less than about 32 blocks for a custom NPC. He's not... On okay, so I'll turn the pauses off and he will move a little more fluidly. And that has to do with the timing because he, he only has so much time to get around the uh, course, the four block course, until he generates another one. Another four blocks. And he will alternate from clockwise to counterclockwise also. So, I'm just showing you basically how this functions. And uh, I did do a larger scale test, which I'll show you here in a second. It's just off to the side here. But I just wanted to show you, there he goes, he puts down another four and he switches directions. So, it's just to give him a more fluid and maybe random uh, walking area. So let me turn him off there. And if you look at this mess of glass blocks here, you can see at the pink square is where he started. And he went towards the south. Although randomly, he kind of uh, kind of came back a little bit every now and then, and uh, the different levels show the places where he repeated. So what I did, I ran the test again, same script and everything, and oddly enough, it went to the opposite direction. It went off towards the north this time. That's where he started, and it went off this way. Still, it's a nice random location, and you see he repeated a couple locations. So, but I'm not sure if he was would he come back again or not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what's what's driving the direction of it. So, what I did in my third test was I made a function in the script that would make him return if he was more than a radius of 20 blocks away. And this can be seen by at night best by these glowing blocks here. The center location is where he started, and the other blocks just represent 20 blocks from that center. So it's 40 blocks across, and once he was found outside of that 20 block radius, he would return. Now then that would depend on what what uh, where he was on his four block path. In, and when the time changed, as, uh, as far as I mean, <coughs> excuse me, as far as if uh, he could set a block outside that radius, but he might not be outside of that at the time. So um, that's why some of those blocks are further out. But as you can see, he was he pretty much kept within a nice tight pattern here, and so. What I did eventually was I uh, put him in a real world situation. The uh, yeah, well, I, I like this a lot. So here in the real world situation, he started there at the crosshairs, and he headed over this way. I just let this run for a while. And the difference here is I set his return distance at 120 blocks. So he was going to cover a much larger area. And he came over this way and I found him for a while stuck in this water here. 
as you can see he was here for quite a while and water seems to be a big problem as far as navigating needless to say so I'm not quite sure what to do about that eventually I would like to have them set up little camps and things like that where you could go along and maybe you could find uh, some random items in a camp that this uh, some sort of wandering NPC set up and that would that would uh, maybe start some sort of quest or be the goal of a quest or something like that but then he went over this mountain and he he uh, he was stuck over here in the corner for a long time and he just didn't seem like he wanted to move I think it might have had something to do with updating this version I updated this 1.10 at least twice maybe three times while this was running or not while this was running but but uh, during the period of testing this going in and out of this world so I think he somehow must have gotten stuck that's what I'm thinking okay because this is not quite 120 blocks from over there where he started so I'm not quite sure why he got stuck but I think it's pretty much a success I'll, I'm going to have to try it again on a real terrain area again but it's it's as far as I'm concerned it was a success and I'm going to add a little more tweaks I'm trying I'm just gonna not work on this for a while and maybe think what I can do about water so but eventually what I'd like is is if you ever seen the uh, here it is the little custom NPC campfire and you could have some chests there with with some items in maybe they would be uh, some sort of uh, items or books or something like that with with something and you could return it to the uh, wandering NPC and you could you could get something back or if you found him if you somehow ran into him you could you could look at look for his him he could you could put down a sign with his name on it really right here and so Grizzo Grizo Grizo yeah Grizo was here so that's what I got here thanks for watching